In this video, we're going to take a look at how the Explorer feature from Illumio can be used to ask questions of your environment, questions that might be asked by a compliance auditor or questions you might want to ask about uh, your environment that help, might help you to uncover risk. Here we have a point of sales application, and we're going to go ahead and open up the Explorer feature to see how we can answer some of those questions. Now, one of the common use cases would be having a compliance uh, person or an audit team in your office wanting to know what flows have gone into or out of your point of sales application over a given period of time. Um, now, the time period can be adjusted from an hour up to several months or even customized for a particular compliance window. And we have a couple of different views. What we're looking at here is a parallel coordinate view, but likely an auditor would want to see something a little bit more familiar. Here we have a table view that's familiar to most auditors. It shows IP addresses, and it actually on the left-hand side shows whether or not those flows have been allowed or blocked. One of the nice things about Illumio is that we're able to add additional context to the IP address, and we can actually see what is behind those IP addresses or what the workload is behind those IP addresses, looking at the role, application, environment, and the location. Uh, so it gives a little bit more context to what it actually is being allowed into and out of that PCI environment. Now let's go back to the parallel coordinates view and see how this view can be used to pinpoint particular anomalies or, or potential risk in the environment. So still looking at that point of sales application, one of the things I might want to do is take a look and see what from production is interacting with that point of sales application since this is a pretty sensitive environment. Now I can click and, and drill deeper and deeper into um, these particular flows. Here what I see is that there are three different areas of my environment that are interacting with point of sales. We have core services up at the top, which probably makes sense that we're consuming some core services. Uh, like Active Directory, for example, might, might be something. We also see that there is a ordering application interacting with my point of sales application, which makes sense as well because we want to be able to process those orders and, and process those credit cards um, with that PCI environment or with that point of sales environment. One of the anomalies though, that sticks out here is that HRM application. And so I want to dig a little bit deeper. I'm going to click on that and see what exactly from HRM might be interacting with point of sales. I can see already that there's um, some activity. And as I, as I get deeper, I can see that there's a lot of activity from a web workload in HRM hitting a bunch of different workloads across my distributed point of sales application. And it's trying to interact with those workloads using port 3306, which is my SQL. And that's something that is probably uh, probably should be of concern to me. So let's go over to the illumination view, the application dependency map, and see if we can pinpoint that workload that is... Uh, misbehaving. Now here in the illumination view, the application dependency map, I can quickly pinpoint that misbehaving or the, the workload that's in question. I can see that there's a workload in the HRM application with a number of different red lines emanating from it, which tell me that there are a number of different flows that are trying to operate outside of policy. Um, and so I can do a couple of things here. Uh, w the one thing that I can do is click and drag that workload into a quarantine area where I've set up policy to uh, basically strip out any uh, other allowed flows from that workload and, and only allow inbound SSH to allow my security teams or my forensics teams to get in there and figure out what exactly has happened with that workload. Now, with Illumio, the policy compute engine recalculating that policy, it's not only recalculating policy for that workload in question, but it's also recalculating policy for any of its peers in the environment. So in one quick action, I'm quarantining and I'm shunning uh, and completely isolating that workload from the rest of the environment. 